So welcome everybody to the Biotech Satellite uh, Symposium. We will be talking about premium RLs and challenging cases. Uh, thank you very much, Biotech, uh, for inviting us and making this possible and happen. First, of course, I have to introduce myself. My name is Detlef Breyer. I'm the moderator of today's session. I'm a care direct refractive surgeon based in Düsseldorf, Germany, with 20 years of experience running my uh, own clinic. I have a science institute working together with Gerd Alfat, the University of Heidelberg. I'm reviewing uh, in all the major journals and had the honor to do a lot of pioneering work for multifocal RLs, EDOF RLs, smile surgery, and flex surgery. So, uh, but I have the big luck that I'm not alone. I have two expert panelists supporting me. All the far from my side uh, to the left is Dr. Ankur Barua from UK and Professor Mohamed Hosni from Egypt to support me and making this session a successful and interesting one. Then we have, uh, well, I cannot say differently, but uh, other world-class surgeons, very experienced surgeons with very interesting subjects, which is uh, from all over the world, Dr. Sri Ganesh from India, Raman Ruiz Meza from Spain, Sheeta Bra from India, Marco Fantozzi from Italy, and Professor Cem Yildirim from Turkey. So, um, I first of all and next of all want to introduce Dr. Anko Barua once again. He is uh, from UK, uh, expert panelist. He is substantial consultant in Birmingham Midland Eye Center, does training courses for DMEC um, and helped to initiate the MDT clinics for complex cases. He is a book author, uh, is peer reviewing uh, journals and is heavily involved in teaching for medical students, ophthalmology trainees and optometrists. Then somebody I surely also don't have to introduce is Professor Mohamed Hosni from Egypt uh, at this session. He is Professor of Ophthalmology in the Cairo University um, and is leading the refractive anterior segment consultant at Dar al Yun specialized eye hospitals in Egypt. He also had numerous international publications, including the book Ocular Information and others in the worldwide speaker. So, First of all, after introducing everybody, I would uh, ask my friend Sri Ganesh to come up here and start with the first talk. Sri is still busy. <laughs> um, he is chairman and uh, managing director of Netradama Super Specialty Eye Hospital. He has been really in the forefront of the not newer, the newest technologies for phaco and refractive eye surgeries, and he will present his initial clinical experience with eye creel cert, advanced monofocal IOLs, and comparison with IHANS IOLs. Three. Thank you, Retlo. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And at the outset, I would like to thank Biotech for inviting me to speak on my initial uh, experience with their new lens, the iCRIL CERT Advanced Monofocal IOL, and its comparison to the Technus IHANS uh, lens. I am a consultant for Biotech and also Carl Zeiss Meditech. So the dilemma today is how to achieve a natural continuous vision along with functional intermediate and functional near vision without uh, significant dysphotopsia. And the solution today that most of us are looking at uh, are extended depth of focus lenses or the advanced or enhanced monofocal IULs. So what are EDOF lenses or extended depth of uh, focus lenses? They provide distance to intermediate vision. They provide a near continuous range of vision and they have reduced glare and halos which are comparable to a monofocal IUL. And you can see here in the diagram that most monofocal lenses, you have a point focus, but here you can see that there is an extended focus. So there is an extended depth of field, which helps the patient for intermediate and uh, near intermediate vision. And this is the through focus scan of an EDOF lens showing a extended depth of field. This is the light intensity distribution simulation for different lenses. And you can see here for a monofocal, 
the light intensity distribution is continuous, but it is mainly for distance and far intermediate, stops at 100 centimeters. For a multifocal lens, you have two points which are distinct, and the light distribution is better in two points. Here it's at uh, infinity and at 50 centimeters. Then you have the trifocal lenses where you have three points of foci and the light intensity is different at three points. And this is the advanced monofocal IUL, the ICERT, which provides a continuous uh, focus up till uh, 50 centimeters and uh, nearly two diopters. So monofocals typically provide about 0.5 diopters to 0.8 diopters depth of field. This may be because of the, and it depends upon the pupil size. The advanced monofocal can provide more than 1.75 depth of field, which is helpful for intermediate distant uh, range of uh, visual act act activities, and it reduces the dependence on glasses. So here you can see the uh, modulation uh, function at three millimeter uh, aperture, uh, and you can see that it's just 0.5 to 0.8, which is not sufficient for uh, far intermediate or near intermediate uh, vision. It's only for distance, whereas the advanced monofocal gives you almost two diopters depth of field and uh, at a three millimeter aperture, which is good enough for functional vision uh, for most activities in daily life. So the ICRIL cert is the advanced monofocal IUL from Biotech, um, what is called monomore technology, and the brand claims that um, you have en enhanced intermediate vision without compromising far vision. The photopic phenomenon is comparable to a monofocal IUL, uh, and it provides intermediate vision up to 57 centimeters and an extended range of vision of um, 1.75 adapters at 0.2 logmar or better visual acuity, which is the standards to classify it as an EDOF lens. If it provides less than 1.75 adapters, then it's not classified as a EDOF lens. How does this lens work? It has a unique zonular asymmetric power distribution on an aspheric surface. So it's got optimized refractive zones to provide extended depth of focus. And the uh, asymmetric power distribution provides less pupil dependence. So independent of the pupil, it gives you a fairly good light distribution. Yeah. The photic phenomenon is very similar to a monofocal IUL with minimal glare and halos. So you can see with a monofocal IUL, you have just far vision. And as you approach far intermediate, the, the quality of vision drops. Whereas with an advanced monofocal, you have far um, far intermediate and uh, near intermediate. Only the very close uh, vision, less than 50 centimeters, may not be very good. So it provides an extended range of vision, 1.75 diopters at 0.2 logmar or better, and uh, provides up to 57 centimeters of intermediate vision. Uh, it's continuous vision from distance to intermediate. And uh, the positive defocus curve denotes lens forgiveness for distance vision. So even if you have a little bit of error in your biometry, it is uh, forgiving. So this is the comparison between the ICRIL cert and the uh, Technus IHANS. The ICRIL uh, uh, cert is a hydrophobic acrylic uh, material containing uh, natural yellow chromophore. Um, and it is a single piece, 360 uh, square edge with aspheric optics. Six millimeter diameter, 13 millimeter overall length, and um, it's available in uh, seven to 30 diopters with the 0.5 diopter step. So you can cater to most of your patients, and uh, it's for implantation in the capsular bag. It's available with a very nice preloaded delivery system, um, so you can have a very controlled injection of the lens. The iHands uh, basically is a one-piece hydrophobic lens, six millimeter optic, very similar to the Technus platform. Uh, it's got frosted continuous posterior square edge. Overall diameter is similar, 13 millimeters, but it, you, it does not come in a preloaded uh, platform. So this, uh, the iCRIL cert is an advanced monofocal IUL or an extended depth of 
field lens because it satisfies the criteria for the same, whereas the Technus is a premium or an advanced monofocal eye well. The technology for both are refractive. Uh, the technology in the acryl cert is uh, zonal asymmetric power distribution on an aspheric design, whereas with the Technus, the power changes continuously from the periphery to the center of the lens, and it creates a unique anterior surface to provide some amount of intermediate vision. The claim depth of field uh, at the IOL plane is more than two diopters with the acryl cert, whereas with the Technus eye hands, it is uh, around 1.8 diopters. Depth of field at spectacle plane is 1.75 diopters, um, basically giving you vision at 57 centimeters. With the Technus, it is more than 1.35 diopters, giving you um, uh, vision at uh, 74 centimeters. So this is the uh, pupil size um, depth of field of the um, icral cert, and uh, it is maintained irrespective of the uh, pupil size. Whereas with the eye hands, it is um, dependent on the pupil size and it behaves like a monofocal eye well. So we decided uh, to do a prospective clinical study and compare the Icryl Cert advanced monofocal eye well versus the Technas uh, eye hands uh, for safety, efficacy, functional vision, and patient satisfaction. This is a very um, early stage of the trials where we have our in initial experience of just 15 um, patients and uh, just a two-week follow-up. Um, all the parameters in both the groups were matched. And this is a video of the uh, Icryl Cert. And you can see this is a preloaded injector. You put in the viscoelastic, close the wings of the cartridge, and it's got a unique wheel on top which you rotate and to advance the lens. So you advance the lens into the cartridge and after filling the capsular bag with uh, viscoelastic, as you advance the wheel, uh, the lens opens up in a very controlled fashion and you can implant this uh, lens into the capsular bag very safely. You can see that uh, after implantation, the lens opens up fairly quickly and it is centered well. You can see the uh, zonular uh, segments which are very mild but you can see it in retroillumination there. Okay, we need to advance. I'm not able to advance the slide. The next one. UV blockage without reducing uh, contrast significantly. Yeah. So you can see this is the uh, refractive results, uh, spherical equivalent. Uh, and in both groups, we had uh, spherical equivalent less than half adapter, which is uh, excellent uh, results. This is a binocular distance visual equity at uh, two weeks. And you can see with both groups uh, is very similar. Uh, 10 patients, 2020, and five patients, 2025. This is a binocular intermediate vision at 60 centimeters, which is near intermediate. And here you can see that the Icryl cert performs uh, very well, both the uncorrected and distance uh, visual, uh, corrected visual acuity, uh, 13 patients at 20, 20, and two patients at 20 by 25. Whereas with the eye hands, uh, you had eight patients um, uncorrected, 20, 20, and uh, two patients, uh, 20, 25, and five patients, 20, 35. So the, um, near intermediate at 60 centimeters is much better with the Icryl cert. If you look at the far intermediate at 80 centimeters, the Icryl cert and the Technus eye hands are quite similar. 
with the ICRIL cert uh, slightly better at uh, far intermediate 80 centimeters. This is a near visual acuity at 40 centimeters, and here you can see again that the ICRIL cert uh, performs much better. You can see that um, you have some patients um, reading um, 2040 or 0.2 uh, Logmar, um, two patients, uh, whereas none in the Technic Science group, and uh, many of them are able to read uh, uh, 0.3 Logmar, uh, Logmar um, and all of them uh, better than 0.4 Logmar. This is the defocus curve, as you can see, uh, between the IHANS and the ICRIL cert, and you can see that the ICRIL cert has uh, a better defocus curve uh, than the IHANS, and it uh, provides more extended depth of field. Coming to patient satisfaction, no patient in either group reported halos, glare, or bothersome dysphotopsia, and none of them had uh, any uh, um, need for uh, progressive glasses because the distance vision was good. The distance in the ICRIL uh, and IHANS were very good, intermediate. For the Technus IHANS, uh, five of them needed glasses, none in the ICRIL cert, and for near 13 in the ICRIL cert, uh, two patients were able to read without glasses, and all patients in the IANS group needed reading glasses. To summarize, the ICRIL cert advanced monofocal IOL appears to provide better intermediate visual acuity, and possibly near also. The near intermediate is excellent compared to the Technus IHANS. Uh, because of the higher depth of field on the IOL plane, optimized refractive zones, asymmetric power distribution, which provides pupil independence, and it delivers a continuous vision from distance to near intermediate. High patient satisfaction with minimal dysphotopsia and photic phenomenon, uh, very similar to a monofocal IOL. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Sri, for this very interesting lens. And it's, I think it's a generation that will overtake MIOL. What do you think? Yes, I think because the biggest problem with uh, multifocal and trifocal uh, lenses are the dysphotopsias, which are very bother bothersome, and that takes more chair time. So if you have a lens which gives uh, fairly good distance and intermediate vision, and intermediate vision is what most patients need today. Uh, they see their iPads, their uh, phones, and uh, very few of them actually read uh, fine print like a novel or a newspaper. So if they have uh, good intermediate vision, then... Uh, for most of their activities, they don't have to depend on glasses. And they want to drive also at night. They want good uh, visual acuity and good contrast. So I think this is a lens which kind of provides the best mix for uh, good functional vision. Mm -hmm. And you reported and that there was uh, no patient who reported uh, himself halo and glare, or did you ask for it? These, these were leading questions which were asked about uh, glare and okay. so you halos. Asked the, we asked them. Okay, good. Because we are very tightly packed, I would like to further discuss this with the last uh, uh, presentation and ask the other speakers uh, to be close to the timetable, because otherwise we won't have time to discuss. We just have to rush uh, through the lecture. So please, be so kind. Everybody has around eight minutes to talk uh, to stick to the time. Thank you, Sri.